uh, excitement for the season, and then we'll take your questions. So, Kingsley, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you're looking forward to in the 2021 season. I'm um, definitely looking forward to the Shane Beamer era. Um, definitely excited for the progress this team made during the summer months and during the spring. Um, definitely look, looking to compete for a championship this year and having a dominated season from both offense and defense and special teams. Thank you, Kingsley. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh, we've uh, got the microphones we can get to you. Uh, we'll go ahead and come up here and start uh, with Bob up here in the front. Front left. Uh, hey, Kingsley, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat. Is that how, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? Um, hey, facing uh, Kevin Harris in practice, um, I mean, how would you compare, how would you rate him among SEC backs you faced and just what do you think makes him so good? Um, I definitely feel like he's the best SEC back in the, uh, SEC back in the, uh, really the best back in the nation, honestly. But uh, he's definitely a guy who's going to show out again this year as he did last year. Um, and he practiced hard. This is a very high competitor. And um, yeah, he definitely works hard. So everything you've seen last year is a result of his hard work. Any other questions, uh, raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Um, Kingsley, while we wait, uh, new coaching staff, uh, talk about how uh, well the team has reacted to that and just uh, the gelling of the team under the new coaching staff. Um, the team definitely bought into whether it's with Coach Beamer teaching or Coach Day, our new weight room staff. Um, we're definitely committed to what they have to offer and what they're telling us. And we're definitely excited for this change and definitely ready for the September the 4th. <laughs> All right, Bob, go ahead and we'll go back down to Bob. Yeah, it's obviously uh, Coach Beamer's first time as a college head coach. How's, uh, what, what kind of impression has he made on you guys? And are, are you guys too young to know who his dad is? Or if, if you know about his dad, kind of what does that mean to you? I guess the, the family tree he's, he comes from. Um, I feel like he definitely is going to live up to his dad's expectations and this level his dad set for him. Um, but he, yeah, so far the last six months has been amazing. Um, the energy he brings day in, day out is never a dull moment with him. Um, then he just the positive. He just uh, reinforces everyone with positive reinforcement and um, this is just the feeling with Coach Beamer around is just amazing. Whether with the whole staff, like the vibe of the whole. Really, Columbia's changed ever since he's, he's been signed as the new head coach. So, definitely decided for them. Kingsley, we're going to go over here to our right. Oh. Hey, JJ, Ben Portnoy with the State Newspaper. I know we saw you switch your number. You got a single-digit number. I know there's a couple other bigger guys down on the defensive line with single-digit numbers. How'd you guys kind of go about securing those, and uh, how, what was kind of that process for you? Uh, for me, honestly, it was probably. I guess the standard J.C. Horn set with the number one, and it's just for me like a mentality thing, mentality thing. So in a sense where it's just seeing what J.C. did last year, for me I'm trying to have a daily reminder. I need to top that and um, go higher than he did or just a little natural competition. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely set other guys with lower numbers and definitely a new look on the defensive line. <laughs> right, Gingsley, we'll go over here to our left on the second row. Hey, J.J., Corey Diaz with the Greenville News. Uh, this defensive line is rated one of the top 10, 15 best in the country. Can you explain what makes this group so good? And two, uh, just what the role of the defensive line will be uh, in a slightly new defensive scheme and what, what kind of pride you guys will take in that? Um, we're taking high pride in uh, probably being one of the forces of the team and just the forces of the nation, honestly. Um, we've got a lot of veterans coming back, a lot of a lot of guys who play good ball for us, um, whether it's Aaron Sterling, Jordan Birch, the Jordan Strawn, um, Zach Pickens, Jabari Ellis, Aaron Sterling. I already said him, but um, this we're loaded. Honestly, I feel like we're two, three deep, um, and we're just about to have a, we're about to be dominant this year. Kingsley, we're going to stay on that left side on the near aisle. Hey, JJ, Josh Kendall with the Athletic. What have you noticed from Coach Beamer today in terms of his mood? Has he been unusually excited today or to get in this environment? What was the plane ride over here like? Oh, yeah, he's definitely been excited today. The uh, first SEC media day as a head coach. Um, yeah, so the energy definitely was up today. Uh, smile, see more smiles than usual. So it's definitely been a good day for him, I would say. 
Other questions, uh, raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Just as we wait for questions, just talk a little bit about the difference this off season preparing. Last off season, you're dealing with a pandemic, not knowing whether the season was going to be played. How much more normal is this year? And and you feel like you're ahead of the game as far as getting prepared for the season? Um, this year is still a little, a little wicked in a sense. Um, uh, folks still having to uh, have to take COVID tests and stuff like that, wear masks and throughout the building and things like that. But it's definitely way more easing and just smoother last because last year we're working out, we're still wondering if we're having a season or not. So it was definitely gut wrenching the whole time doing that. Um, so I definitely say that uh, it's, we're very uh, at ease in a sense this year, knowing for sure we're having a season and stuff like that. So I would definitely say this year is definitely probably easier and. Um, and more calming to the mind. Perfect. We'll go here in the middle, about three quarters of the way back. Conor O'Gara, Saturday Down South. Is there a, an NIL deal that you've seen from somebody in college football that you've been jealous of so far? Um, none in particular. Um, I mean, yeah, nah, none, none really. Okay, we have another question over here on the right hand side. Hey, JJ, Ben Portnoy from the state again. Uh, obviously, there's a tradition at South Carolina of defensive linemen, and in recent years, a bunch of guys that have been first-round picks. Just to be the next guy in that line, what does that kind of mean to you, and how do you feel like you know you can kind of go about continuing that trend? Uh, first off, it's definitely a blessing to be in the position I'm in right now and a humbling experience. Um, I mean, I'm definitely trying to continue that trend and legacy that we have produced over the last years and trying to up the standard for the next generation. Any questions, uh, raise your hand. We'll come back up here to the, the front with Bob. You're, you're about five miles today or so. Um, as a player, how do you feel about the name, image, and likeness? And have you got any, anything set up yet? Um, I definitely feel like it's a good thing for fo football or just for college sports in general um, for us to be able to make money and um, – make money off our name, image, image and likeness. Uh, it's definitely something we've been preaching and wanting for years and decades, I would say. And so I feel like it's definitely a positive thing for college, for college sports in general. And then for me personally, um, I really haven't had too many deals offers or too many offers. And I'm, I guess, taking my time with it if the right deals come. But I'm not too pressed for things right now. Hey, last call for any questions. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck this season. Thank you.